today I'm going to test out another pin that I found on Pinterest. Um, and this one is basically just a DIY dry erase board. And what you do is you have a picture frame and you put whatever background you want in here. You can use um, like craft paper, you can print something out off the internet, um, like your favorite wallpaper. It's kind of what I did. And then you take any dry erase marker and use it. So supposedly this is pretty simple to do, so I'm going to test that out myself and let you know how it goes. Let's get to it. So what you'll need for this is a piece of paper of your choosing and then a size frame of your choosing and that really could be anything. Um, this one here is a 5x7, you can use 8x12, it just depends on how much space you want or have. Now I got my frames at the dollar store, which is fine, um, but I found that Sometimes the wood can be a little flimsy, especially when you're pulling back these metal tabs to get the back insert out. So to avoid splitting the wood, what I was doing was putting pressure on the back right behind the little metal tab as I peeled it back just so that it gave the wood a little more support so it didn't crack. Um, if you're worried about this, you can get your frames at um, a thrift store or a secondhand store and it would be a little better quality and still for good price. So once you've gotten the back insert out, um, you can use the paper inside of it to help size the paper that you want to put in it. And that's what I did here. I centered it on the paper that I wanted to use. And then I took a pen and just traced around it. Okay, so then once I was done with that, I just took my scissors and cut around the outline I just made. Alright, so then once you're done cutting out your paper piece, you want to just slide it right into the frame. And it should fit perfectly because you've used the inside paper to size your paper. And then you put in your back insert. When you do this, before you close it up, you want to make sure that it's facing the right direction. And then again, uh, for these dollar store frames, I added the extra pressure in the back of the metal tab when I was pushing it down, just again so that I didn't have any crackage. And there you go. So then once you're ready, you can go ahead and write your message right on there. 
Now let's make sure to use a dry erase marker. You don't want to use permanent. And once you're done with your message, all you have to do is take some water and spritz it on there, and then wipe it right off. So when choosing your paper, it's best to have one solid pattern, but that can get a little boring, so if you want to design, you can do that too. Just make sure that there are at least some solid places where you can write your message. And that's just so that it's easier to see, but it's not really necessary. Um, you can just use these as fun little paintings to doodle on too. Um, here is just a plain back, uh, brick background that I used. And this kind of pattern actually works best, but again, it's not really necessary. And I also found that normal dry erase markers work well, especially with lighter colors, but for the darker colored backgrounds, there are such a thing as bright, neon dry erase markers and these turn out re really well on the dark background. 